I'm writing a letter to cancer Just wanted it to know how I feel It's not a problem, really, it's cool But I'd prefer it if it didn't come around no more See, I've got a friend And she's got three friends And they're all going through things but cancer's in the way of what we do today and tomorrow. And so I say, dear cancer, I prefer it if you let me know when you're coming in. Dear cancer, please give me a warning. Oh, dear cancer, it's really alright. If you let me know sometime for cancer, please don't come around if you wouldn't mind. What's so important to remember about cancer is just how much it really affects families' lives. So my friend, one of my best friends, her family has breast cancer running in the family. And so at one point, she had her mom and her aunt both going through chemo. It was around the time when her sister was pretty young. And so right now, like, they try to remember her, like, oh, like, how was your childhood? Like, what was that like? They can't remember. So they literally have to sit there and go, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember that time when you... And literally, they couldn't remember how she learned how to walk. They were talking to the... To, so she, you know, she's going through the memories of the other sister. She's like, yeah, I remember you learning how to walk. It was that coffee table. It was this, it was that. And they were like, oh, yeah, like, yay, mom. Like, I love you know, remembering my past, and the little sister said, so what was it like when I learned how to walk? And the mom goes, uh, she turns to her sister, her sister goes, uh, they turn to the grandmother, the grandmother said, oh yeah, well it was right here, like it was this chair, but the fact that it's a mother who can't remember, like what, three months, what, years, who knows how long it's really referring to if you can't remember your child's life like how are you a mother and yet though that's what really breaks up lies in cancer it's not just about the you know it's not about the oh there's this in my body because that's terrible too but the worst thing is that you got my grandma had colon cancer we didn't know what happened to her for a little bit she was sick and I was like oh my grandma's sick but who knew that she had cancer well, I didn't know apparently everybody else knew because I was too young to know the real truth so the reality is, though, that when she had the dreams to be a doctorate in ministry, and she wanted to go on and have a PhD to be a pastor and whatnot, she couldn't do it anymore. So when that happens, what are you going to do? Cancer. Dear Cancer, please wait.